Hi all folks, this is Max from htcevohacks.com. So uh, people have been asking me, I just want a uh, better than stock ROM, something that gets better battery life, and also with um, Wi-Fi hotspot uh, and stuff like that. So for that, I actually this is what I'm using right now. Oop, decline. Uh, what I'm using is the latest one um, off MicROM version 2.55. Uh, it's better, it's got a better super user files, also it has uh, uh, patched smally jar files to not track any data, um, which means it's going to be harder for, I guess, Sprint to track your tethering or whatever. And also you can flash the uh, HD when uh, the hack kernel, which allows you to um, do HDMI, HDMI mirroring on MIC G version 2.55 or any other versions um, so actually I'll just show you on my screen um, we've all seen this this is like the hundredth time reviewed MIG G ROM but probably the best ROM um, you know for for people who want kind of stock but better battery life um, you probably want to go with MIG, MIG G um, Anyway, let me show you. Oops. Settings um, about phone software information. It's running 2.3.3. Um, I like this Sense 2.1 plus 3.1 because some of the other Sense 3.0 ROMs they're very laggy. Oh, by the way, the Sense 3.5 is super fast. There's a couple ROMs out there, but I'll review it. But just the 4G is not working, and it's a deal breaker because you know, I get pretty good 4G signals and, you know, when I'm Wi-Fi tethering, I don't want to be on 3G. I want to be on 4G. Um, anyway, this is a, a update on MIG G 2.55. Uh, you might not have to do a wipe. Um, just use a titanium backup to back up all your apps that, and wipe and do it. Or, you know, just make a backup before you flash it. Anyway, try it out, let me know, but uh, for those of you who want something simple and with HDMI mirroring, um, get this and it's very fast, good battery life. Um, there's nothing else I can say about it, I guess. Don't forget to subscribe and check out accevohacks.com and leave your comments below. Uh, I've been kind of getting late on my comments, so I do apologize because uh, I've been compiling kernels for my epic 4G touch. I've actually compiled my own kernels, um, so that's been taking like a whole week of my time. But I'm going to try to get back on focusing on all the different phones, um, and i got to also do more videos for EE Pad Transformer. That's coming soon. Sorry, folks. Um, I'm just one guy making videos, and you know, I can't you know, I have so many hours in the day to make videos and how-to instructions. But I know you guys love me, so thanks, y'all, and um, subscribe. See y'all later. You guys rock.